Alright, uh, hello everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to use the uh, data analysis in a Microsoft, um, Microsoft Excel to uh, create the um, correlation table. So the uh, data set we use here the Boston Housing. Okay. So once you open the data set in Microsoft Excel, or you're gonna see the data something like this. So uh, now the, the question here, we try to identify a pair of uh, numerical variable uh, that are, are co correlated with each other. So uh, how can we do that? Um, so I know that this one gonna be um, categorical variable. So um, I don't want to do the correlation with categorical variable. So I can copy the data into a different cell, a different set, and I gotta de delete that variable. So right here, I gotta delete this one. Okay, and I knowing that this one gonna be categorical variable as well, so I gotta delete this one as well. Right. So now we have the all the variable right here. It's a numerical. So I want to. Uh, uh, construct the uh, correlation table of the uh, variable so this is a target variable okay so the uh, function we could use at the data in data analysis uh, in some cases uh, you may not see this one so go to file uh, option uh, go to add in and we could uh, go into the tool pack uh, analysis add in right here and we go and then we select the analysis and OK. OK, so then you can see this one. OK, um, so we're going to go data analysis and the function we here, right here called correlation. All right, so we're going to select the data from this one. We're going to put it down. You uh, hold out the shift key on the keyboard and select the last one right here. Select this one and then you can select all the data range. We are uh, knowing that the uh, uh, very first um, row right here could be the label, so we need to select this one, and we're gonna create a new uh, worksheet uh, to uh, uh, for the uh, uh, correlation table. Yeah. Okay, so now we see the correlation table right here. So we calculate the uh, correlation coefficient of uh, a pair of the variable. So basically, variable uh, with itself gonna be uh, have a uh, uh, correlation uh, coefficient equal to one. Um, so the uh, range of co uh, uh, correlation coefficient gonna from negative one to one. Um, the absolute value gonna determine um, two variable uh, are strongly co correlated with each other or not. So um, Closer to one or negative one is uh, representing the strong correlation of two variables. So, for example, right here, NOX and in that right here, 0 0.76, that's really uh, strong correlated to each other. Uh, the negative uh, representing right here, this and in, in that right here, uh, negative 0 0.70, uh, representing negative correlation, this means one variable increasing, the other variable uh, decreasing. Okay, but they are uh, still very uh, strong related with each other, right? So uh, this table right here is not easy for us to um, identify the pair, uh, a pair of the variable uh, uh, that are correlated with each other. So we can uh, do by right click, do the quick analysis, use the color. So you can see um, set of variable with the uh, dark green right here. Uh, representing the uh, strong positive uh, correlated uh, uh, the uh, uh, correlation of two variables and the uh, the the uh, dark red right here representing the uh, uh, negative uh, uh, strong uh, negative uh, correlation of each other okay um, we also can uh, using the other function using we call that the uh, conditional formatting click right here we can highlight the cell because uh, select maybe greater than 0 0.7 
that we create using the uh, yellow for example and then we create using the uh, less than let's say 0 0.7 uh, we using the same color we change identity so as you can see right here by doing that we can quickly identify a pair of the variable right here uh, with a, a coefficient uh, absolute uh, values of uh, a correlation coefficient uh, greater uh, than uh, 70 uh, 0 0.17 this one knobs and in that age and knobs and so on so you can see that uh, this this one gonna be identify a uh, uh, variable pair that are correlated with each other so um, one of the variable uh, should be dropped because uh, they are strongly correlated with each other they uh, carry pretty the same uh, map information contributing to the uh, target variable right here so um, we, we can we can just use uh, a uh, one of the variable instead of both of the variable okay so um, I think I think uh, that that is the uh, uh, way to identify the um, variable uh, uh, correlated or not uh, correlated. Uh, on the other hand, we also can identify which variable could be a uh, independent. This means the uh, correlation uh, coefficient close to zero. So we can also using the uh, the conditional formatting right here uh, we're gonna using the bit tree because that's close to zero so let's say 0 0.0 um, negative 0 0.05 to 0 0.05 okay that's one gonna be green let's say uh, let's say uh, Agree with you with the dark green text. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see what's right here. Uh, between zero point zero. 0 0.05 um, let's say 0 1 to 0 2 for example or 0 1 I can see the custom comment um, view using the uh, say using the um, orange right here. I'm not going to be messed up with the I can have the blue over here. Maybe. Uh, and then you can see this will be the, the range we have. We have a three um, core right here identify the uh, closest to zero. So this will be uh, this one right here uh, representing between uh, B and a room right here. That gonna be um, showing smallest. Uh, values of uh, correlation coefficients mean these two variables are uh, like likely gonna be independent okay right so i think that the uh, source uh, tutorial to uh, show you how to use the uh, data analysis in a microsoft Excel to uh, determine a variable uh, are correlated or not okay so um thank you and uh, i'll see you in a different uh, video